Now that we have our scan, you can actually see the scan overlaid on the video. So next, we want to use that scan to do a comparison against the surface. So we're going to go into the Kogo surface inspection tool and we're going to give this inspection a name. I'm going to call it uh, inspection one. And we're going to choose what method. Now there's a number of methods, but we want to choose the scan to surface compa uh, comparison. So the reference surface, we have to now zoom into the map. I'm going to turn off my scan so I can see the surface a bit better. And I'm going to select that surface that I want to use in my, in my comparison. Now I'm going to turn my scan back on. And you can see that's the scan we're going to use to compare it. Now we have a couple of different options for our, our color scale. So I'm going to choose the rainbow scale and tap calc. So now that's going to do a comparison with all the points in the point cloud against that surface we selected from the IFC model. Now you can see that uh, how that model matches the uh, how that model matches the point cloud. So we have the ability, we can see the colors in the inspection. We can even tap individual points to get details about that certain area. So what we can do here is we can create a little bit of an infield report. We can tap the screenshot button to take a screenshot. We can even draw on that. We could select certain areas. For example, I could say this area and I could put in some text that might say uh, needs uh, shot grade. So now with that stored, I can actually use that in a surface inspection report that I can send out directly from the field if needed. A few other things we can do with this is we can choose points to turn to. So if there was an area that, had, that was too low, for example, or too high if you were measuring shotcrete on a tunnel, you could select that point in the map. So here I'm going to select this point. Go to the video and click Turn To. And then you could turn on the, la turn on the laser. So I'll turn on the laser on this instrument. And you could you know, point in real time to contractors on site what areas need remitting or what areas you know might be out of tolerance. So I'm going to store this point cloud, the surface inspection, and I can take that back to the office and TBC and we'll be able to view it there. Or I can turn it back on under my inspections tab if I need to see it again in the field. Now if there's a certain area that you're interested in, or if your point cloud's a bit messy and you want to tidy it up, you can create a region and do an inspection against that. So here I might just be interested in this part of the point cloud. I'm going to select that area in the map and click create region. I'm going to give it a name as C1 for column 1 and accept. So now when I go to my scans tab under layer manager, you can see C1 is there and I can turn that on and now that's just that area of the point cloud. So now if I wanted to do a scan inspection, I could do it just using that part of the point cloud. So I'm going to tap the area, the surface of the model that I want to compare against and go to the surface inspection tool. Uh, we've chosen the reference surface. We can see that here. And the selected scan is my region. So now I can give it a name, C1 inspection and calculate. So you can see here, that's that, just that area, just that region that I've done has got the inspection. So again, I can tap to check and investigate individual points. And you can actually see that sawn timber, um, uh, the sawn timber finish on that column showing up in that, in that inspection. If I store it, those inspection points will be created and they'll come through in any surface inspection report or into TBC after once we've finished our job.
Thanks for watching these videos on scanning and IFC workflows. Make sure you subscribe to the Trimble Access YouTube channel and the Trimble Access community to keep up to date with all the latest content. See you next time.